In this video, we're going to do some problems involving related rates where you have something that has a rotational motion. So, our first example, we have a kite. It's launched from the ground. The kite string is constant, 100 feet, and the kite's height above the ground increases at a rate of 2 feet per second. We'd like to know at what rate is the angle between the kite string and the horizon changing. So if we remember our strategy, first thing we want to do is draw a diagram. Then we want to know well, what rate is given, what rate are we looking for, what equation or formula can I use to connect those two rates. I'll differentiate that formula implicitly with respect to t. Then I'll solve for the rate being asked for, and in the very last step, I'll substitute my known values. So here's the picture or diagram of what's happening here. The kite is launched from the ground and it starts to rise along this arc. And it's an arc of a circle because the kite string acts as a radius of a constant length of 100 feet. And so the height is changing at a rate of two feet per second. And we'd like to know at what rate is this angle theta increasing? So we know dh dt is two, and we want d theta dt when h equals 80. What formula would connect them? Well, I have a right triangle here and opposite of theta is h and the hypotenuse is 100. So that would tell me I should use sine. Sine of theta equals h over 100. Next, I want to differentiate implicitly with respect to t. And that gives me cosine of theta times d theta dt equals 1 over 100 dh dt. And I can solve that for d theta dt. I'll get 1 over 100 times cosine theta times dh dt. Now what I don't know is cosine theta. And in all of these problems, if the missing quantity is a trig function, you don't want to find theta. That is going to be a bad strategy. What we want to do is find a value for cosine of theta. Well, how can I find that without knowing theta? Well, I'm going to go back to my triangle and use my trig ratios. If I call the distance from the uh, where the kite is anchored to the point on the ground directly below the kite, I'm going to call that distance x. Then I have a right triangle and I can find this value of x for any given value of h using the Pythagorean theorem. So that tells me that x would be 60. Now I can just remember that cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine of theta would be 60 over 100 which simplifies to 3 over 5. So if I put in 3 over 5 for cosine theta, if I put in 2 for dh dt, I find that d theta dt is 1 over 30 radians per second. Next example, we have a tree. It's 10 meters high. And as the sun sets, it's casting a growing shadow. And we're saying that the sun is setting at a rate of negative pi over 12 radians per hour. That means the angle of the sun with the horizon is decreasing at this rate. At what rate is the length of the tree shadow growing when the shadow is 20 meters long? So here's our picture. 
Theta is the angle made by the sun with the ground or with the flat horizon. The tree is 10 meters high. And we'll call the distance or the length of the shadow, we'll call the length of the shadow L. Well, what do we know? We know that d theta dt is negative pi over 12. And we want dl dt when L equals 20. So what formula would connect these? Well, I know that uh, tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. So I'll be using tangent of theta in this problem. Now I'll go ahead and differentiate implicitly with respect to t. Now over here on the right hand side, I was thinking that 10 over L is of course the same as 10 times L to the negative one power. And then I can just use the power rule. And that's how I got negative 10 over L squared times DL dt. Now I'd like to solve that for DL dt. So DL dt would be negative L squared secant squared theta all over 10. Again, I don't know theta, but I'm not even going to try to find theta. What I'm going to try to do is find secant of theta using my trig ratios. So if I use x for the hypotenuse of this triangle, I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find that x will be 10 times radical 5. Well, that would mean that cosine of theta is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, so 20 over 10 radical 5, which simplifies to 2 over radical 5. And then secant of theta is the reciprocal of cosine of theta. So secant of theta is radical 5 over 2. And in fact, I won't even need to worry about the radical because I'm going to use secant squared theta in my evaluation. So let's go ahead and evaluate that expression for L equals 20, secant theta equals radical 5 over 2, and d theta dt is negative pi over 12. And doing some simplifying, I come up with 25 pi over 6 meters per hour. In our last example, we have a rotating spotlight. It's 100 meters from a point P on a long straight wall. And when we're looking down at the spotlight, it's rotating a clockwise orientation. And it goes one revolution every two minutes. So we'd like to know how fast is the beam of light moving on the wall when it is 75 meters from point P and moving towards point P. So we really need a diagram to put all that information together. And so we have this long wall. The spotlight is located 100 meters away. And that point right there is point P. And in this question, we're looking at the situation where the beam of light is on this side of P and it's moving towards P. Well, what do we know? Well, I'm going to call theta the angle between the beam of light and the line connecting the spotlight and point P. And that makes sense for this question. And in, in that sense, theta is getting smaller as the spotlight rotates. So d theta dt is going to be negative. It goes 2 pi, that's one revolution, is 2 pi radians every two minutes, or simply negative pi radians per minute. And what do we want? We want to know dl dt. That would be the speed of the beam of light along the wall when L equals 75. 
Well, what, what formula do we have? Tangent of theta would be opposite over adjacent. So we'll use tangent of theta giving me L over 100. Now let's differentiate with respect to T. I get secant squared theta, d theta dt equals 1 over 100 dl dt. You can solve that for dl dt. And I see that I have made, no, I did not make a mistake. That is, that algebra is correct. dl dt will be 100 secant squared theta d theta dt. So just like in the previous questions, I'm not going to find the value of theta. I'm going to find the value of secant theta using my trig ratios and the Pythagorean theorem. So if I call the length of the beam of light x, I can use the Pythagorean theorem when l equals 75. Do some simplification and I'll find that x is 125, which means I can find cosine of theta being adjacent over hypotenuse. That simplifies to 4 over 5. And I find cosine of theta because I know that secant of theta is the reciprocal, 5 over 4. So now I can substitute and evaluate that with d theta dt equals negative pi and secant of theta equals 5 fourths. And my result is negative 625 pi over 4 meters per minute. Okay, well, we'll do some more examples for a related rate in the next video.